validations. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my like signature makeup look. This was requested, so because I don't really think I'm that good at makeup. But I'll just show you guys what I do when I feel like putting on makeup. I don't wear makeup every day now. I used to when I was a teenager. Like I was so afraid of people seeing me without makeup because I'm so freaking ugly. This is my go-to makeup look. Starting with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I use it as a primer. And I'm just gonna put it on my lids like so. And then just blend it like that with my $5,000 brush. Yes, this brush is limited edition. I've used it in other videos before. Oh yeah, so fancy. Such a beauty guru. Next, I'm gonna use some eyeshadow. And I'm using Maybelline The Nudes. Speaking of nudes, I haven't posted nudes in a while. I was thinking of posting them on my Patreon. Would you guys be into that? Because if you're not into it, I won't do it. But if you are, let me know. I have to hurry because somebody's coming over from the state and they're supposed to be seeing me and getting me some help. So I'll try to make this as quick as I can. Okay, so I use three colors. Let me see if I can show them. I use this color on my lid, this color in my crease, and this color as a highlight and on in my like inner corner of my eyes to make them look brighter. I love this. I've been using it since I was in like high school. And the white makes it pop out more. Now the crease. I'm starting to look more like myself. Next, fly liner. So I usually do a cat eye. Oh god, I think they're here. I hear the doorbell ringing. That's either them or my social worker. I'm hoping it's my social worker so I can finish this up. I have to put on eyelashes. I take these, they're red cherry lashes, and these are the Demi Wispies. And I, what I do is I take two of them and I stack them on top of each other so it's nice and thick. Okay, so it was my social worker who just got here, so I really need to hurry. I take this um, duo brush on adhesive and what I do is I line my eye with it like it's eyeliner almost and then I just glue just put it on my actual eyelid and then I just instead of putting glue on the lashes that way the glue is really close to my lash because I have curly lashes and I think curly lashes can be pretty but they're really hard to put fake lashes on and then suck at putting on false eyelashes it would take me forever it's one of those things where you just gotta put them on take them off put them on and just practice same goes for just makeup in general not that I'm not good at makeup it's just and I just 
push them directly underneath my lashes. Okay, so next I contour and highlight with this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, I like to use this shade to highlight and this one to contour. Over it, I'm gonna put on my, I look so, don't I look nice? Look. <laughs> the, nope, we're done, this is the video. Go out like this and uh, have a great day. I'm gonna put on my um, foundation. It's a little light for me, but I ran out of the other one. I think my shade is like 410. Uh, this is 360, so it's pretty light, but I don't have Fenty money right now, so we're just gonna use this. It is really light. I might just have to get a new one because it looks, I look weird. Next up is concealer, also in the shade 360. Um, so it's obviously gonna be really light, but concealer can be light, you know, because that helps with the contour and the highlighting. Okay, um, next I'm gonna use some setting powder. Um, I used to bake with my setting powder, but I hear that causes it to be cakey, so I'm just gonna put some on. I'm, gonna co I'm contouring my nose with um, powder so it can be snatched. There's a lot of contouring going on here. I usually only do one. But this time, I don't know. I used to want to get a nose job. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, I don't want to mess up my face. It's already pretty messed up, but like, I don't want to mess it up even more. Okay, so next it's time for highlight and I'm gonna use Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. I love this highlight, it is so freaking strong. Light up a room. Next, I'm gonna use um, blush. This is my signature go-to blush. It's Taos, I think that's how you say it. T-A-O-S by NARS. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna put on some more highlighter. I just like layering highlighter. Especially now that I don't really have my cheekbones. Cause I got fat. I'm gonna lose the weight, you guys. I was going to the gym just to burn 300 calories. It was like 35 minutes of cardio. I've been really focusing on cardio as of late. I just wanna get my summer bod, cause it's already summer. I'm gonna set my whole face. That's good. This shade is called Candy Venom and I love it. it reminds me of a MAC shade I used to have. I love Fenty Beauty so much. to get some new hair maybe when that YouTube check comes in hopefully it'll come in because I'm making this video not mental health related that's because mental health is so hard to get monetized you guys it's like every now and then I'll get like a better help commercial but really it's really hard to monetize it like this is a weird job for me to choose but anyways I hope you enjoyed my makeup look Oh, we need to clean down here. Eddie came down here and he puked because he was drinking so much. That guy has a substance abuse problem and now I have to deal with it because he comes down here, pukes, and then he left. I haven't seen him since. Like, drugs aren't for everybody. Obviously, they're not for him if he's doing all this crazy stuff. You know, I was crazy when I was 19, but not like that. He can't really handle it. But anyway. I can go get ready for my appointment with, I don't do anything. Okay, so let's see. Contour is very strong. Oh, oh no, no, I don't want to get demonetized. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with some more mental health stuff, don't worry. Um, I'm not a beauty guru, so I'm not really f like that great at makeup. But yeah, that's how I beat my face. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like this video if you did. Consider becoming a patron because YouTube is so unpredictable. I'll link my Patreon down below. I never know how much money I'm going to make, so I'm trying to get some financial stability. So if you could help with that, I would be forever grateful. I swear. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.